Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I know there are a bunch of new Nikon Z8 owners out there and I just wanted to get some setup vi videos published to help you guys get your cameras all dialed in. Instead of making one super long video, I thought I'd try something a little different with a bunch of shorter videos on very specific topics. So today we're going to set up our custom controls, i.e. function buttons. Now my setup may not work for you, but this video will at least give you some ideas and show you how to do it. Okay guys, so to get started we're going to press the menu button on the back of the camera and then we're going to drop down to the little pencil icon which is your custom settings menu. Um, hit the right side of the multi-selector and before we get down into the custom controls um, you're going to want to make sure that you're in the bank that you want to modify. So custom controls are bank specific. Um, so you can see I'm in bank B which I've labeled tripod uh, yours, if you haven't set it up yet, it will be blank. There will be nothing there. You can rename these. Uh, and if you're not familiar with banks, um, I made a video for the Z9 on how to set that up. Since this is basically a, a mini Z9, you can check that out to see how to set up your banks. Um, I do plan on making an updated video for the Nikon Z8, so just uh, keep an eye out for that. But all right, so. I'm going to select bank A and then I'm going to drop down to F controls and if you hit the right side of the multi selector that'll take you into the controls menu and then we're going to want to drop down to custom control shooting and then hit the right side of the multi selector again and that's going to bring you into this page right here so you can see on the left side we have a graphic of the camera and then on the right side we have two columns of function buttons at the very top you can see it says function one button there um, and then right below it it tells you what's assigned to it so this has been a modified a little bit from the default settings and you can see that I have recall shooting functions hold assigned to function one now as I and I'm, you can use either the multi selector or this little joystick to move from function button to function button but um, you can see the graphic changes and you can see that we also have the grip so we can assign you know commands and functions to the grip as well and then if you go all the way down you'll see the lens options so if your lens has function buttons or function rings you can assign different settings to that so I'm not going to go through all of these I'll just kind of give you a quick overview of how to uh, how some of the ones that I've set up and then um, basically you modify all of them are the same as far as the way to modify it so um, so we'll select um, highlight function button number one and then I'm going to press OK and you can see there's my recall shooting functions hold highlighted and see the little arrow see how some of these have arrows next to them and some of them don't so if there's a little arrow at the on the right side um, of the screen there then all you have to do is hit the right side of the multi selector and that just means that there's more options that you can set so I don't have this set up yet I will make a video an updated video on recall shooting functions because I've modified it a little bit on my Z9 um, and it'll be specific to the both the Z9 and the Z8 I'm trying to keep both bodies to be you know pretty much identical okay so then I'm just gonna hit the back button and I'll I'll scroll through here really quick to kinda of give you an idea of all the different settings that you can do you can assign to a function button and then so that's basically at the top and then it goes all the way down I don't know the exact number but there's there's a whole bunch so it's pretty customizable um, okay so then I'm gonna go back once I have function button number one set the way I like it uh, then I can go back and I can go to my next function button so in this case function button number two uh, and that I have set to zoom so if we hit OK you can see there's a little arrow on the right side so that means there's more options and when you go in there you can see I have hundred percent selected you could also select two hundred percent or fifty percent um, but hundred one hundred percent works for me so that when I'm out shooting and I want to check focus on something all I have to do is hit function button number two and it'll zoom me in there um, so I can check focus if I need to adjust then I can adjust my focus um, manually or I can use um, autofocus so 
to zoom back out, you just press the function button uh, again, and it'll take you back to your normal screen. Okay, so those two I've modified from the default settings. Um, dropping down, autofocus on, uh, that's default. I, I use back button focusing, and so my shutter button no longer, it just basically trips the shutter, uh, but it has no focus um, capability um, when back button focus is set up. So, so basically you have to press the AF on button to focus. I do have a video for setting up back button focus as well. It's for the Z9, but this, it works the same. So uh, I'll put a link in the description and up above if you want to check that out. Uh, I don't have the grip for it, so you know if you do, then you can modify those settings. Function 3, I have it set up to go to the very top of my menu. So Function 3 is the little key in the upper left. So if I have settings that I want to get to pretty quickly, I'll either assign it to a function button, I'll put it in the I menu, or I'll put it in the My menu. And to get to the My menu, all I have to do is press the little key button, and it'll bring me to the top of the My menu. And you can see I don't have it fully set up yet, um, but I do have some of my like starlight view and warm display colors. I like to have that in there so I can, if I'm shooting Astro, I can, I can quickly um, get to those settings. Okay, so we'll go back in there and keep looking at these function buttons. Display, um, you know, if you want to change that, I, I kept it the default setting. Um, the reset button for this little joystick, so when you press in on the joystick, I have it set to reset the focus to center position. So, for example, you know, if my little focus box is up here on the Apple, if I press the middle of the little joystick up here, it, it snaps back to the center. Um, I typically, since my I'm using back button focus, my thumb is typically right there. So to move a focus point, it makes sense for the joystick as opposed to the uh, to the multi selector. But that's just me. Okay, so um, I turned OK off. I think its default is to reset. I just have it off right now. I, I may adjust that later. Uh, these are grip settings. The next two down are grip settings. You can adjust that if it applies to you. Uh, the uh, exposure compensa compensation. Uh, you can see that there's a little icon there with the rear command dial. And so that means what you can do is you press down on that function button and then you rotate the command dial to adjust the um, exposure compensation. Um, this next button, function button number two, or excuse me, no, rec <laughs> I was looking at the wrong one. Uh, the record, video record button, so that's this red one up here. Um, this is the default setting and it's pretty handy. Uh, you just press that button and it removes everything off your screen so that you can, uh, you can you know, check your composition, check your edges, uh, and there's nothing that's getting in the way. And then all you have to do is press the record button again, and you've got all your information back up there. Okay, uh, let's see, what else do we have? The ISO, um, again, you can, you can use the command dials. I'll kind of demonstrate how this works. And by the way, this is the default setting as well. So you just press and hold the, the ISO button, and then you can use the rear command dial to adjust your base ISO. And then you can use the front um, command dial to turn on and off uh, auto ISO. So that's, that's really handy. All right, so dropping down, we have some um, buttons for the lenses. And so, uh, you know, for, for longer lenses, you know, like if I'm shooting, um, if I'm shooting sports, maybe baseball, uh, you can set one function button to save a, a focus position, and then you can set the other one to recall focus position. So you could save your focus on the home plate and then recall it if there's um, action there a little bit later. Okay, moving on, you've got your control rings um, on your lens. You can set those, and then um, another function button and another control ring. I have that set to off. That's the one that is typically set to, you know, I think it's default of aperture. I like to have that one turned turned off. All right, so now now let's 
check out custom controls to playback. This 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 one has fewer options and should go a little quicker. Um, I can't remember if I changed these from the defaults, but you can see I have function one as the rating. So that allows me to, when I'm reviewing a photo, if I want to give it a one star or two stars, I can press function one and then turn the uh, rear command dial and, and set the star rating to it. Uh, function number two is set to zoom in. And so, at, you know, again, checking critical focus after I took the shot making sure that the area that areas that I want in focus are indeed in focus. The rest of them are pretty straightforward and I did not um, adjust any of them uh, from default. So display is display. If I want to lock a, um, an image, I can press the key button and then you can change your um, settings for your command dials as well. All right, well, that's it for this video. I hope it helped you get your Z8 all dialed in. Check out the playlist above for more Nikon Z8 specific videos. I'm going to be adding to this playlist over the next couple weeks, so be sure to subscribe so that you're notified. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.